Good evening, brothers and sisters. Today is the first day of April. We are starting another month of blessings, another month of new, a new season. Everything is beginning to blossom. Trees, our flowers are bobbing, you know, life, new life is coming. We are here to pray for resurrect every area of our life that was dead. And we've won't gone through the winter season. Now we are stepping into a new season to praise God. This is the glory of God. This is the arm of God. We are stepping into a new season. And see how God is going to beautify everything in our lives. Our hearts, our mind, our spirits. All connected to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your adoration. We thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for pruning, oh God. That as a church that unto Christ is fully conformed in us, you keep laboring in the spirit, oh Papa. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you've never given up on us. Even where we... Right, guess in the way we think we are so right, Lord, you are right there. Because flesh must be was died. You said, unless a grain of corn fall down and die, it will never bring forth the fruit you've called it to bring. So, well, Father, we, we fall down and we die to flesh to self. Let the spirit of resurrection to bear fruit fruits of the spirit, oh God. Father, we come before you as church, new beginning ministry. You called us to be a deliverance ministry to set the captive free. Father, we pray for the leaders of this church that we will fall down and die, oh God. Let every iota of flesh be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. From Reverend Paulette, from Reverend Denise, from all the ministers, from every member to every child in the mighty name of Jesus. That we will grow up, oh God. That we will be a church that you will be, your spirit will flow in us in love, in unity, in oneness, in understanding. Father, anything that does not glorify you in us, Papa, remove it. Because we are yours to use for your glory, for your glory, for your glory. Father, we repent as a body of Christ forever. We have fallen short of your glory. Father, we repent when we have done, we have done things that you haven't called us to do. or We've tried to bring up our own protocols. Lord, we come before you in repentance this night, this hour. Hey, Father, we pray for the children and the orphanage that the church is taking care of and the widows and every project for your name. Father, that we pray if there's anything that you have not approved, Father, please make it known to us so that we repent. So you will not depart from us, Father, because we without you, we are nobody. We look up to you for everything, Lord. We trust in you. We put our whole trust in you. Lord, take all all the glory take all the praise we pray for the the prophets of the we pray for mama celestine and her husband lord we pray for mama tina we pray for papa babalo we pray oh god for every man and woman of god that you have called to bless this ministry to send guidance to send understanding to send a word Lord, we trust you for their life. That no weapon fashion against you, beginning ministry shall prosper. Father God, we come, we begin to decree and declare that the gates of hell would prevail because, Father God, your word is going to come to pass for this church. Where everything that you have said will come to pass for the purpose that you called us to be a ministry. Father God, that shall we be in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every spirit of destruction, every spirit of separation, every spirit that is against. We begin to plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus for every member, everyone that has passed through this ministry, everyone that have blessed this ministry, everyone that you have called to work in this vineyard. Father God, you are the 
you are the gardener, Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches. Father God, begin to prune us wherever we are bearing any fruit, oh God, that is not of you. Father God, cut those sour fruits, that we will bear fruits, oh God, fruits of the spirit, that we will, our light will so shine that men will see and glorify your name. Father, take all the glory in everything we do in the ministry, that you will be seen, oh Papa. No person, no person, oh God, will be seen but you will be seen because father it is of you that we are here it is of you that we are called it is of you that we can move and live and have our being lord we trust you lord we trust you we trust you because we cannot do anything on our own we rebuke the spirit of flesh everything of pride separate yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever love does not want to grow or wherever thing that want to shadow love, let your light shine through us. Let your light shine through us. Father God, from other reverend all the way to the least child in this ministry. Father God, from everyone we have blessed in all, all over the world. We pray for the ministers in India. We pray for the ones in Ivory Coast. We pray for the ones in Nigeria. We pray for the ones in Cameroon. We pray for Wherever new beginning ministry has taught, let your light shine in them, Father God, that nobody will want to be seen, but everybody will want you to be seen, Jehovah. Father, take the glory. Father, take the glory. We worship you. Father, we worship you. It is because of you that we are here. Father, if it was not because of you, we would be wasting time, oh God. We pray for every child in the orphanage that we are taking care of. Father, as the men and women of God are going and preaching this gospel to these children, Father, we pray for them, our children in Goshen and Madua. Yeah, Boko Yerabaseke. Father God, touch the leaders, oh God. Touch the sisters and their brothers to dedicate this time to impact the word of God in these children. That as they eat every food, Father God, it will be life unto their soul. They will trust you. They will believe in you. They will not just come and eat, but they will come and be fed by the word of God. Can we pray, oh God, that this word will be hidden in their hearts, that they will not depart from it. Because you are birthing a revelation. You are birthing a a generation of praise and worship leaders in Marua. Father God, we thank you. Father, we bless every resources, everyone that have poured into this ministry. Father God, give it back to them double fold in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, wherever that the devil wants to come against their offering, Father God, let it begin to speak to them because they have done what you have called them to do, to take care of the widows and the orphans. You have said this is the kind of fast you want. For, take care to, for us to take care of widows and orphans. Father God, this ministry you have called, I have done that. Father, we go to, to the children in, in Duwala, the orphanage there. Your blood, your blood, your blood. For upon the leaders, every money that everyone has removed out of their pocket to bless these children. And the ones in Kenya. Oh, Father, we pray for the leaders in India, the leaders in uh, Ivory Coast, wherever the orphanages are that the ministry is taking care of. Father, we pray for the leaders who stand in the word, that they will not depart from the word and begin to teach these kids something else. But they will teach them the true Christ. The Jesus Christ that died on the cross. And I got you that came to resurrect, that came to, re to redeem us back to you. We worship you. Oh, mighty Jehovah, let your name be praised. Father, we pray for every son and daughter that have come to this ministry. Father, God, that have departed for one reason or the other. Lord, have mercy. Oh, Father, we come against that spirit of division that you will quicken them in their spirit to know oh god that they serve a mighty god not a god of separation but a god of unity in the mighty name of jesus because you said in your word oh jehovah that every part of the body is for a purpose the head is there for its own purpose the neck is there for its own its arms it, to edify the body of christ that each member will identify who they are and work together for the kingdom of god 
Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We worship you, Jehovah. We glorify your name, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for Reverend Paulette and her family, her husband and children. We soak them in the blood of Jesus. Father, we decree Psalms 91 over her life, that he who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Father God, Reverend Paulette and her husband and children abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We pray for Reverend Denise, her husband and her children. That they will abide Abide in the sacred place of the Lord. No weapon fashion against his family shall prosper in Jesus' name. Father, as you are leading them, oh God, begin to guide them. We pray for the ministers. We pray for Minister Pauline and her husband in the mighty name of Jesus and her children. No weapon fashion against his family shall prosper. Father, they will come in many ways and be scattered in, in thousand ways, Father God, because you are walking in the Fulcrum family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the testimonies. Father, we thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for Sister Grace and her fiancé. That you are because you have, you have, Father, look at what you have done in the life of Sister Grace. We are here to thank you. Father God, she has persisted. Father God, she stayed faithful to you. She worshipped you and you opened doors for her. You have made known yourself in her. You have glorified your name through Sister Grace. Father God, she will make a showcase that what God can do, what God cannot do does not exist in our sister's Amen. life. Thank you for her fiance. Father God, they will walk together in the kingdom to begin Amen. to bring more people, Amen. to bring, to give more hope to, 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 to a certain age of women and Amen. men, oh God, that they will not give up, but they will know that trust in the Lord with all your heart and things will come to pass. We thank you for Minister Caroline and her husband. We soak them in the blood of and her sons. Father, you know the desires of her heart. We come against every power of the devil that is trying to separate this family. We come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare John 3.16 that for this purpose, Jesus Christ manifests himself to destroy all the works of the devil over the house of minister Caroline in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood just over her home in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray for Sister Lovett and her husband, Minister Lovett. We thank you for Mr. Kater. And I that they will work together for the kingdom of God for that purpose that you join them together. They will work together for that God so the kingdom to move forward in Jesus' name, in raising godly children. Father, we pray for their heart desire. Father, you know them the best. Well, Father, we thank you. We pray for Brother Eve. Minister Eve, we soak him in the blood of Jesus. We soak Minister Eve in the blood of Jesus. Father God, his education, his school, his ministry, as he goes forth to begin to sing, to worship you, to bring people to Christ. Lord, be his guide, be his protector, be his leader, be everything that he sees and sees. That he will not trust unto the flesh, the arm of flesh, but he will trust unto you, Jehovah. Guide and protect him in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for him. We pray for myself, very minister, very, and my husband, Franklin. What I will soak me and my children in the blood of Jesus. Father God, whatever you have planned for us will come to pass. Father God, the work of the devil shall not be fulfilled over my life and my family in Jesus' name. That our family will be a family that will praise you. Father, we will come together to glorify your name, to let people know and to raise godly children. Children that will not be ashed, that will not be afraid to contend against the enemy at the gate in Jesus' name. Father, because we are the righteousness of God. We are the righteousness of God. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. We pray for Sister Joyce Lynn. Father, we pray for Minister Joyce Lynn. We bring her under your altar. We bring her husband. Father, we bring his papers. Oh, Father God, they are praying for unity. For him to come and meet her in this country. That they will walk together in the ministry. Oh, God, for your, 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 will, your will to come to pass in the life of Minister Joyce Lynn. Yeka baba saka de de bosoto. We pray for Minister Ruth, Father God, begin to thank you for your daughter. We thank you for Minister Ruth. We soak her in the blood of Jesus. We soak her in the blood of Jesus. Father, you know her heart desire. Father, she desired to be with a partner. Father, we begin to thank you for the man you are planning, preparing for our daughter. A man for your daughter. A man that was going to stand and say, this is my wife. This is the bones of my bones. That when they will meet Father God, dynamite, the glory of God. Father, we thank you for Minister Ruth and her husband that you are preparing in the spirit that she will not give up she will keep pressing and trusting you because at the right time she will also stand to testify that see what the lord has done for me
Amen. Hey, Father, we thank you. I hope I, I, hope I pray for every minister. Father, we begin to give you praise. We begin to give you worship. Father, we go now. From French, French side. I don't even know the French minister their names. Because, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, and the other ministers. Okay. Amen. <laughs> Father, we come, we, we pray for all us, Sister Nikes, Minister yeah. Nikes, oh God, Sister um, Malise, in the mighty name of Arima. Jesus. Father, for all the but, other ministers in the French, Father, we pray that no weapon fashion but, against them shall but, prosper. Father God, your will over their life shall be done. Father, they will not derail from the calling. They will not derail from your path, oh God. And but all of us will stay in your path under your direction. Father, lead us, guide us as we walk this walk. As we walk this walk, Father God, we will not take it lightly. Jesus, you did not take your own work lightly. So we will not take our own work lightly. Father, we are walking with your direction and your guidance. And in Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, Amen. we begin to thank you. We begin to give you praise. We begin to give Give you glory. We celebrate what you are doing in our Amen. lives. We celebrate what you are doing in our lives. Father, we pray for every member of this ministry. To Amen. those that have said that will humble themselves. Oh, Father, we pray for every member. Amen. Father, God, that in everywhere they are facing difficulties. Oh, God, it is for Amen. your glory. It is for your glory, for you, for you to show, prove yourself mighty in their lives. That whatever, whenever the situation comes, no matter how hard it is, they will press on in the spirit in prayer. They will press on in the spirit with prayer. Begin to pray and pray and break every chain, Father, because your word does it all. Your blood on the cross for us, Father. We will not pray with, we will not pray to you again, doubting. We pray to you in faith, believing what you have said over that situation. Father, we thank you. We thank give you glory God. and we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you. We're welcome, Mama Pauline and Sister Karin. You are welcome. We are going to be reading Psalm 79. Amen. It's a little bit long, so bear with me. We'll read and pray. Okay. As we are praying, if it's anything that stands out here for you, if you want us to press on in that prayer, just stop me and then mention it and we will agree with you in Jesus' name. It Amen. says, give ear, O my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the word of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will alter dark saying of all, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us, we will not hide them from our children. So we see that God is calling us here that what we are doing, we have to teach our children these things. We need to remind them of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. They need to know who they are in Christ because we are against a generation that it is already out that the devil has put a system to destroy children to this day. And when we hear the testimonies all over the world, it is not funny. But guess what? Jesus told us that we should not be afraid for these things are supposed to happen. So we should teach our children to have to, to stand firm in the Lord to not grow weary, to not begin to ask stupid questions, and, but to go into prayer, to understand the seasons that they are in and that they are born in, that we will not use fear and depression to break them down, but we will stand upon the word of God because that is the only thing that is true is the word of God. Amen. So it says, verse eight, telling to the generation to come, the praises of God. So God is telling us here, it is our responsibility to tell our children's children's children about the praises of God. Amen. Say, and his strength and his wonder and his wonderful works that he has done. All of us can testify of the wonderful work God has done in our lives. Before even looking at in our family or in other people's lives, we can each testify. Just only being alive and coming to prayer, that is the wonders of God. Because there are many instances that we should not even be here. But God made it possible for us to be here. So we will praise him for that. Amen. Amen. For, for, verse 5, for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel. 
which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. God is giving us assignment to make known to our generation the work that Jesus Christ did on the cross, what he did to our forefathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to how he delivered the children of Israel, you know, the crossover, the Passover, hallelujah. The children who would be born, amen, that they may arise and declare them to their children. So we cannot give up. It is, imagine if we stop and don't tell these kids, <laughs> this, gener this, this demonic system will raise these children for us, but it is not our portion in Jesus name, because wherever they say that the Bible said that wherever sin abide, sin is sin abide the more grace, ab wherever there is more sin, grace abide the more so the grace of god is even stronger now and it, than it has ever been because sin is really coming forth but the grace of god is pressing forward because the kingdom of god suffer violence and violence take it by force we must take it by force our generation must declare that jesus is lord as Amen. long as they live on this earth hallelujah so god is calling us as a church we are not we are not new beginning for just to show off. We are new beginning to train every generation to let them know of the deliverance of the great work of God. Amen. Amen. So, that the generation to come might know them, the children who would be born, that they may arise and declare them to their children, that Amen. they may set their hope in God, that we should do that. Our children should do what? Set Amen. their hope in God because they are learning from us as how we set our hope in God. Now, they, because they ha God has done it for us, we are training them to set their hope in God because the time will come when we will not be there. But because we have trained them, they will carry on with the spirit of God. Amen. 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 And, and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandment and may not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that did not seek, seek its, its heart upright, not set its heart upright, and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The children of Ephraim, being armed, with, being armed and carrying bows, turned back to the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God. They refused to walk in his ways and forget his works. And his wonder and and yeah. his wonders that he had shown them. Look at that. So we will not forget these wonders that God has shown us, and we will teach our children not to forget it. Yeah. Marvelous things he did in the sight of his of their fathers, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoya. Zoya. He did, he divided the sea and caused them to pass through it. Look at all those things that God did. We have to tell the stories to our children to know the kind of God that we serve. Amen. In the, in the daylight, in the daytime also, he led them with the cloud and all the night with a light of fire. Amen. Amen. Verse 15, he split the rock in the wilderness and gave them drink in abundance like the death. He also brought streams out of the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers. But they sinned even more against him they, by rebelling against the most high in the wilderness. But that will not be our portion and our children's portion in Jesus' name. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. That our children will, will hang on to the voice, or will cling on to the voice of the Lord. They will not depart from the voice of God. They will not depart from it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse 19. And they tested God in their heart. Can you look at that? And they tested God in their heart by asking for the food of their, fan of their fancy. Yes, they spoke against God. Yet they spoke against God. They said, can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Look at that. Behold, he struck the rock so that the waters gush out and, he, and the stream overflow. Can he give bread also? Can he provide meat for his people? 
Father, we we repent that we will not be asking these kind of questions in Jesus' name. Even when we have asked, Father, please forgive us. When we have questioned you and say why and ask you stupid questions. Lord, please forgive us. When we have doubted you, please forgive us, Lord. Therefore, the Lord heard this and was furious. See how God was provoked and was furious. So a fire was kindled against Jacob. And anger also came up against Israel because they did not believe in God and did not trust in his salvation. Yet he had commanded the clouds all above and opened the doors of heaven, had rained down manna on them to eat and given them and, and given them of the bread of heaven. Men ate angels' food. Look at that. Wow. The, the manna was, actually that's what is being eaten in heaven. They ate angels' food. He, he sent them food in to the full. He 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 caused so he caused an east wind to blow it in heaven, and his power he brought it to the, the south wind. He also rained meat on them like dust, feathers, fowls like the sun of the sea, and he let them fall in the midst of their camp all around their dwelling so so they ate and were well filled for he gave them their own desire for he gave them their own desire but with their food was still but while the, while their food was still in their mouth the the wrath of god came against them and swelled the the, the shortest of them and struck down the, the choice men of Israel. Oh, Father God, that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. That we will not, we will not anger God. Amen. Our generation will not anger. Our children will not anger God. That our children will make God smile. Our children will make God smile. Amen. I'm going to jump now to Amen. number six. If you have your, we're going to go to number six and see something here. And I'm going to read something in number six. Number 625. We worship you, Jesus. Number 625. So we see that God has feelings and emotions. We saw when, when he blessed them, instead of them praising him, they had it throwing mockery words at him. And God was furious. God was very upset and, and, do away, and did away with their life. We're going to see here in number six, somebody that made God to smile. Amen. And number 625. So I will start reading from verse 24. The priestly blessing. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, speak to Aaron and his son saying, this is the way, this is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them. So imagine everything they have done. God is always there to bless. He will be upset, but he will always there to bless. This is the same train of Israel that were being so disrespectful. But the Lord is well, we thought an amazing heart that he is. And then the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord bless you on your children, on every member of New Beginning Ministry. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord lift up his, the Lord lift up upon you and give you peace look at that amen so whatever situation you are passing through right now just hold on to the scripture because the things you are doing please god he is seeing it um, hard times are coming because the devil is so jealous the the, the, Bible, the gates of that the, the, the um that the kingdom of god suffer violence and violence take it by force Take it by force. Do not just give up and say, where well, God, why is this happening to me? Understand that the devil is so jealous of the children of God. So he does everything to try to put roadblocks for, to cause us to not praise God. But we are hearing here that all God is looking for is a grateful heart. Even how hard it is, begin to 
just start to worship him, begin to dance, see how the tables will turn. Because where the devil is expecting you to act up, you come with another way of praise and worship. What is that situation? Bring it at his altar. Make it into a dance party. Look for those scriptures that that give praise to God. Dance and praise his name. You see what is what numbers is saying. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face to shine upon you Amen. and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon Amen. you and give you peace. Uh, and another version is said that the Lord smile on you. Amen. 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 We are so loved by our own father. So then verse 27, so they shall put on my name on the, on, on the children of Israel and I will bless them. Hallelujah. So Amen. we put the, the name of God upon our children, our children, our grandchildren, our unborn grandchildren, the oh. name of God in their hearts. Amen. There was this, I was watching this man of God today that brought chills off my body. I've never seen somebody prophecy so accurate in all my, my Christian life. This man of God was praying for this woman. He located her and was praying for her. She was giving her, he told her that there was a seed that she sowed. She blessed somebody's child. And that child was her employee. That guy was working for her. So she blessed that child. And when that, that boy told his parents, his parents are prayer warriors. They, the mother and the father came and they prayed for that woman. Without that woman, so they prayed in their house and they prayed that prayer. They prayed, they prayed for her. It was a seed that was sown for her. So somebody was so jealous of her. The person was so jealous because she was prospering in her business. This person went all the way to Nigeria and, and did 14 sacrifices of, of, um, of cow sacrifice to destroy her life they even they said the person even gave 35 pounds to destroy this woman's life but guess what was speaking for her she blessed a child of god a servant of god's child and they prayed this prayer for her that was what was sealing her in the spiritual so yeah. the bible said we should, we should not be weary in doing good all this work we are doing which you mama Paula, always pray for you i said this thing you have done in this children's life in marua Hmm. is speaking for you no matter how the devil tries Amen. he's wasting Amen. his time no matter how he tries your generation is blessed because you have planted a seed that has made god to smile because you are doing what god has called you to do so no matter how the devil tries to disguise and turn and turn he is wasting his time in jesus name because the seed is Speaking because the Lord will make his countenance to shine upon the Fulcum family in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank we you, bless Father. your name. We Amen. bless your name. We bless Amen. your name. So we should not be weary in doing good. Do not be weary in doing good because you will bless someone and you, you will that will be that blessing that will change your whole life. No matter Amen. what, it is speaking Amen. for you. It is speaking Amen. for you. Amen. Amen. We bless the Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 So that's the end of my message. Does anybody have any question or any prayer request? Anything that stood out for you? We can we can pray. Just let us just lift. I know we already pray. Lift our mm -hmm. oh yes, yes, that's true. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Father, we come before you. We come before you with the young women, the youth, oh God, for the tomorrow. Father God, we are, we are praying uh, Proverbs 3 over their life. That you said that my son, let me open Proverbs 3. Let's pray it over these young people in Jesus. I was just praying that with my children this evening. Uh, Proverbs 3, it says, verse 1, my son, do not forget my laws. So we are praying for every every youth in new beginning ministry that they will not forget the teaching of God. So we have read in, in Psalm 78 that we should teach it to our children as we take the time to teach them, to encourage them in the things of God, they will not forget it in Jesus name. And let 
and let your heart keep my commandment. Father, we pray for every youth in New Beginning Ministry that they, they will keep the commandments, your commandment in their heart. They will hide it in their heart, oh God. I say, for, for length of days and long life, and first. peace will be with them, amen. Say, but mm -hmm. let your heart be kept, let your heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Amen. So as these children are growing in the Lord and hiding the word of God in their heart, they will have long life. They will have a prosperous life. They, the devil would not see them because they are hiding under the sacred place of God. Father God, we bring every youth, we put them under the sacred place of the most high. That the Father God, that you, you no perilous person shall see them father god any arrow by day by noon by by night shall not know our youth in jesus name father even if they find themselves in the wrong place papa let your spirit remove them from there in mm. jesus name father even if they go knowingly or by mistakenly father, let your spirit remove them in the mighty name of jesus we thank mm. you lord we give you glory we give you praise father mm. take all the glory take all the glory we soak them in the blood of Jesus. We soak Amen. them in the blood of Jesus. We Amen. soak them in the blood of Jesus. We pray for their education, that they will, they, they, they will succeed, that, they will, that they, their light will shine. They will be leaders in their generation. They will have A's and B's. They will, they will they, Father God, that, that, that they, will, they, will, they, will, they will make you, they will make you smile. They will bring joy onto the face of their parents in Jesus' name. Their parents will, will say that, yes, it is because I raised these children in God. Father God, they will give you back the glory. In amen. Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Say, Lord, bless us. Amen. Any, anything else before we, we close? Mm, I, I think if I ever traveled to Ohio, Oh yes, yes, yes. I, I think I prayed oh. for her. Her, her and um, prophetess um, Celestine. Oh, it's Deborah. Okay, it was Celestine. Okay. It's, her name is also uh, Deborah. Oh, okay. Amen, amen. So, mm -hmm. um, Sister Karen, do you have any prayer requests? Anything before we we round up? Okay. No, nothing in specific. Uh, thank okay. you and God bless you for amen. all the God. prayers. Amen, my sister. God bless you too. Father, we come before you. We thank you for our lives. Father, I bring Sister Karen before you. Bring her husband and her children. We bring um, Minister Pauline, her husband and her children. I bring myself, my husband and my children. We bring every member of New Beginning Ministry, husband and children, Reverend Paulette and Minister Deborah, Reverend Denise, everyone under the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this evening, for this hour, this midnight prayer. Father God, as we go to sleep, let your spirit be with us. Father, open the eyes of our understanding. Father God, to keep pressing on in the spirit, to grow in the spirit from one level to another. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Have a wonderful amen. Amen. Thank you, Mama. Amen. amen. Let me just talk for a bit.